Hi guys and welcome to Mrs. Mehmed's primary home school. Yeah, one, one class. class. Okay, so in today's video, um, I'm going to share with you another lesson from White Rose Maths. Now, as I said to you in my previous videos as well, that White Rose is publishing lots of free lessons and free activities for the children to keep them busy, keep them engage engaged during this lockdown. Now, lots of schools do use White Rose as a main um main teaching uh, scheme of work um, and it, it would be really really helpful if you keep up with the lessons that I am publishing in the right order because uh, this will ensure that um, your child's learning isn't compromised and they don't fall behind in their in, in their learning so let's see what our lesson is about today comparing mass here are two balance scales. What do you notice? Oh, so Shafia, what do you notice? Uh, so, like, there's an apple um, on one scale, and on the other scale, there's a pear. And okay. also, the pear has a leaf, but the apple does not have a leaf. Well done. Zainab, do you notice anything different? Because um, they're both the same, and... They're not the same. What, how aren't they the same? Because this one has two and this one has four and this one has two and that one has two. Okay, is this four? This one has one, two, two and three. 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 Well done. Excellent spotting, girls. So on one scale you have an apple, on the other scale you have pear, but on one scale you have four cubes, but in this one you have five cubes all together. What can it tell us about the apple and the pear? We can see, of course, that the apple weighs four cubes. Oh, so if the apple weighs four cubes, how much do you think the pear weighs then, Shafia? The pear weighs five And how do you know that? Because the pear is um on one side with the five cubes that are and both of them are e are on equal sides well done cubes and the pair the pair weighs five cubes what else can we tell that's right the apple must be lighter than the pear. Hmm. Why is she saying, I wonder, why is she saying that the apple is lighter than the pear? How does she know that? Because the pear has um, a leaf. Is it? <laughs> I know, I know. Is the leaf making pear heavier? Is that what you think? Okay, let's see what the shop yet do. Okay, so, because the pear, yeah, um, the apple is lighter than the pear because the evidence is that the pear has five cubes there and five cubes is heavier than four cubes. Oh, really good explanation, Shafia. Well done. Let's find out. And if we know that, we know the pear is heavier than the apple. Do you see why? You've already answered that. Good girl. If a cookie weighs two cubes, and a mitten weighs three cubes, and an orange weighs four cubes, do you think you could complete the sentence? <gasps> oh, can we complete the sentence? Let's listen to the sentence first, girls. It says, the mitten is heavier than the... Dun, dun, dun. Cookie! Is it? A cookie! <laughs> well done! And why is it? How do you know that? Go on, Shafia. Because the cookie weighs two cubes and three, the mitten weighs three cubes. But four is um, an older number than three, so we take away four and we just keep on thinking about three and two. Now, 
two is a younger number than a smaller number. A smaller number than three. And three is a bigger number than two. So it must be that the mitten is heavier than the cookie. Okay, well done. A really good explanation. Okay, <laughs> now let's see. It tells us that the mitten is heavier than the, the cookie. cookie. I said that. I said that. <laughs> well done, I did. said that. Okay, let's the listen. cookie only weighs two cubes and the mitten weighs three cubes. Oh, can you complete this sentence now? It says, listen to the sentence first. It says, the something is lighter than the orange. So what's lighter than the orange? What could go in this one, Shafia? So there are... Just one option, tell me. There are two things that are lighter than the orange, but the lightest one than the orange then the mitten and the orange is the cookie so i'm gonna go with the cookie is lighter than the orange well done. The is there anything else lighter than the orange mm, i was going to think the mitten because mittens are so soft <laughs> is <laughs> it so why <light. laughs> so think think about the numbers Zainab. so the mitten weighs three cubes but the orange weighs four cubes which okay. number is bigger orange well done so why is the orange heavier than the mitten is it because mittens are softer or is it because three because, is because um three is, is three is less than four good girl high five well done let's move on the mitten is lighter than the orange I told oh, you. Did you think of something different? Yes. Two answers here. The cookie <laughs> is lighter than the orange as well. But it said the mitten first. My answer first. Now, it said my let's answer pause. First. You can have a go at the questions on your worksheet. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly show you the worksheet to go with this. So this is our worksheet. On the worksheet, you can see your questions about heavier and lighter objects. So I'm not going to go through these questions. I would like you to get on with these questions with your children at home. So um, this is our sheet one. This is question A and B. You have your question C. You can pause the video and discuss with your children at home or you can print them straight from White Rose website. This is our question two. It has lots of options A, B, C and D. So make sure your child completes all of them and they talk about all of them uh, with you at home. Then we have our question number three as well. So please make sure that you follow the lessons in the right order. You're completing these activities with your children at home in the right order to ensure that they your child doesn't fall behind so and the learning isn't compromised so thank you so much for watching please share and stay at home keep safe keep learning bye, bye.